Hello guys, it's Nile here today. I'm going to be looking at another application on the Commodore 64. Today, this will be Mini Office. Now, I'll only actually be showing you two parts of the four sides here, the four apps that run on the cassette tape because unfortunately I can only get two of them working. Now, Mini Office on the Commodore 64 is essentially like modern office programs that we use today now it comes with a word processor, a spreadsheet, database and graphics however I can only get the word processor and the spreadsheet program to work but uh, anyway that's the front cover if you can see it very well I apologise it is in the dark because I want you to be able to see the screen a lot more than the case so I would only ever be using the first two so it doesn't bother me but it would be nice if I could actually take a look at them because obviously I've not got this thing propped up to do all my daily tasks on. It's a vintage computer and it's part of my collection. So what we can do with this first, as you, as you can see, it says press F1 to make a new text file, so F1. And just like a normal word processor really, you can type things in, so if I was to type in F1 to zoom in. Now, I shouldn't worry, this, that is not my usual typing speed or my usual accuracy. That's just me trying to type from a bad angle because I'm trying to not get in the way of the camera's view. But if I press it, if one yet that zoomed in, and you, you can actually edit like that because. Well, you can edit like that, but. You zoom out and then we press run stop on the keyboard. Now to clear that we do shift F7 which is F8 because the way the Commodore 64 keyboard layout is you've got the normal keyboard then along there you've got four function keys that have eight function keys which obviously is shift. Now you can copy, you can actually save it to a blank cassette that they would have sold at music stores and I would actually demonstrate that because I did get that working at first but for some reason now mine won't work which is quite annoying but you'll just have to take my word for it that it, it did work at some point now you can also print files but again I don't have a printer and you can get your typing speeds in what dash minutes now this is my accurate typing speed ok edit F1 and then we can get it so it says time is 10 seconds which actually tells you how long you've been working on a document which I think is quite useful in how many words you've got so typing speed what's that so we do run stop and we've got all the options um, F1 F2 speed equals 8.816207 64 <laughs> words a minute I'd, that's my bad typing speed as again tr trying to do that from an angle which doesn't work but that's I that mean you just just demonstrate it obviously in the next video I'll show you the spreadsheet app now this video is obviously very very short but I thought it's best to do the two in different videos just because the time it would actually take me to edit them together so thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video Please do comment, rate and subscribe, it tells me obviously if you didn't like the video then commenting tells me how I can improve because just disliking things doesn't help me. So thanks for watching, I'll see you all in the next one, bye.